the visit of the extraterrestrials, cannot be determined how many alien races exist, according to the most daring scientists, have said that there can be about 100,000 different races in our galaxy, the Milky Way, similar to us, and I say a morphological similarity with head two legs two arms. The breeds most known for visits and possible contacts with humans on the Earth are the following, number one. Gray series, gray beings are the most known aliens, there are at least three different types, those of approximately 1.5 m of stature, which are the most numerous, come from the binary star system Zeta 2 of the constellation of the Reticulo. The ones that measure about 2.20 m that come from Orion, and those of 1 m of height that come from a star system near Orion, called Bellatrax. Their physical characteristics are similar, grayish skin, large head with inverted pear shape, without hairs, large black eyes, small mouth without lips, almost no nose, ears without auricular flag, their body is thin, their arms and fingers, are reproduced by cloning as their reproductive system has been damaged presumably by harmful radiation. These beings have no good intentions with humans, are responsible for the abductions, seem to try to cross their race with a human race to create a hybrid race, which would be better than either or maybe trying to repair their physical damage by serving of human organs, substances, or genes. The greys are also a very intelligent breed, so they gain ground in their desire to control the human race through the agreement it has with the United States and perhaps other powers, they grant their technology, in exchange for human lives, and the installation of their bases in the territories that certain countries grant them. In the USA, they have bases located in New Mexico and Nevada, one of them is the Area 51. Number 2. The Zoomorphos the zoomorphos they are extraterrestrials with animal forms. They may have qualities and characteristics belonging to different species combined. There have been few reports of this type of beings, but there are, some have forms of primate, bat, fish, in this category includes the famous chupacabras. Also included here are reptilians, they are highly advanced but negative beings and hostile towards humans. They would live on a planetoid driven by them and would be in search of a new planet to live on. Number 3. Greys, from the stars Zeta Reticulum and Orion, known by their abductions of civilians, genetic experiments, mental programming, human followings through implants, cloning, and creation hybrid human grey species. Number 4. Tall greys, coming from the star Orion, are known by their genetic experiments, hybrid breed creation greys and humans, mental control, and diplomatic agreements with the government in the shade. Number 5. The native reptilians, their place of origin is the Earth, reptilians are believed to be beings belonging to the Lemurian and Atlantic continent, are capable of changing their physical appearance, are believed to live in the interior of the Earth and have manipulated elites, institutions, financial systems, and influencing religious belief systems, suppression of the true history of mankind. They are related to the human rights abuse, domination and corruption of elites, control of media and corporations, division of religious dogma, historical amnesia, culture of violence, number 6. Syrians, beings of Sirius A are human beings in physical appearance, they are almost indistinguishable from a person, although some of their characteristics are average height of 6 to 7 feet of height, they can be of dark skin and white, some of them are blonde and of colored eyes blue or emerald, in other cases they may have the appearance of an Arab. It is said that a group of these beings has infiltrated global organizations to curb the decisions of the control system in terms of imposing policies and restrictions that gradually take away from people. They have also made great efforts to promote ecological restoration on the planet. They are highly advanced beings and come from the sixth density, are currently projecting much energy to the earth to synchronize that energy with the people who are looking for change, there are many reports of people who have dreamed of serious beings where they are reveal situations and things. Even for thousands of years they have brought man advanced knowledge. This race of aliens participate in technology exchange programs that promote military cooperation against a potential extraterrestrial threat. 
Its main objectives are, the investigation of secret weapons, the use of exotic weapons, the abuse of civilians in travel experiments over time. Number 7. The Anunnaki, the Anunnaki are beings known as the gods by the Sumerians. The Anunnakis are a hybrid race originated after the union of a princess of Orion with a prince of Sirio B, this in order to cease the constant wars between both races. In such a way that after being a tribu they became a race, developing genetic, military and aerospace technology like the one of its predecessors. The Anunnaki are adjudged the human race as their property, since at the end of the experiments to create a slave race is said that they put the final ingredient. They are the well-known Sumerian Babylonian and Egyptian gods for the most part since the Syrians of the Syrian B system also have to do with the deities of the Middle East. The Anunnaki are currently the ones who are trying to take over the earth, since in their roots belong to the Orion group. However, they have their own interests and there is a faction that has conflicts of ideology with the Draconian races of Orion and Alpha Draconis. The Anunnaki's position on the human race is owned and certainly hostile, there is a faction that works directly with the Orion group and Alpha Draconis, which have originated a great machinery of control over the human race. They are responsible for most of the wars recorded in history, they are also responsible for the control system, systems of beliefs, sex, and secret societies. The Anunnaki were also the protagonists of what is known as the Black League Wars where a group of Syrian and Pleiadian assisted humans revealed themselves against the gods, however, failed. Their main activities of these beings are, control the evolution of humans in the long run through elite groups, systems, and institutions, manipulating human consciousness. They compete with the Draconians for control of the Earth. Solutions generated manipulation of elites, religious fundamentalism, global cultural patriarchy, culture of violence. Number 8, the Teloshians, the Teloshians are said to inhabit the hollow earth, help humanity on the surface to learn about the history of humanity, restore human longevity, change pernicious belief systems and protect the environment, Teloshians are part of the spiritual order of Melchizedek, with connections to the Ashta collective mind, and have dealings with extraterrestrials in Arcturus, Sirius, and Saturn, as well as beings of other dimensions, are not known much more of them, they are tall blonde inhabitants of a network of the re-established subsoil of antediluvian colonies, may have a slight contact with the Pleiadians and other groups, by means of ancient ancestral ties, since the Teloshians are natives of the Earth, they are said to possess interstellar vehicles, and are a western branch of the Agarti sub-international network and its silver fleet. Number 9. The Lyranos, the Lyranos were the original ancestors of our galactic family. Many thousands of years ago, its civilization reached a very high technological level, however, it fell into discord, and factions within its culture. These factions went to war, and destroyed much of their society. Many of these beings of Lyra, left in their stellar ships to colonize the systems of the Pleiades, Hyades, and Vega. Some of these Pleiadians with Lyranos ancestors also came to Earth during the Lemurian and Atlantean period. The Lyranos have now evolved beyond conflict, or warlike stages of evolution. These other civilizations can be seen as our galactic cousins. As the original inhabitants of Lyra, which have a common origin with terrestrial humanoids, were expelled from that system many thousands of years ago, some of the present-day inhabitants of the constellation Lyra are of reptilian descent. During Lyranas warriors, who are mentioned in several accounts of contacted, it is reported that a massive exodus of humans left the system and escaped the Pleiades, the Hyades which are 130 light-years from Earth, in the constellation of Taurus, and Vega, who is also in Lyra. This region, as our own system, is still a battleground between grey and human Saurians. Number 10. Vegans. Vegans are relatively peaceful and peaceful human beings descended from refugees from the Lyran Wars, who work closely with other refugee settlers, now living in the Pleiades, Wolf 424, and elsewhere. 
very often described as dark-skinned oriental, similar to the native residents of the nation of India. Vagus technology is about 250 years older than that of the Pleiadians, and they are also in touch with the Dal universe, and are being helped by them. All these civilizations are guided by non-physical beings, who are seated at the Council of Andromeda. Vegans are darker skin than Lyranos, with higher cheekbones and more triangular faces. The Vegans also help to colonize stellar systems, such as Altair, Centauri, Sirio, and Orion, among others. Andromeda is a large spiral galaxy, the closest to the Milky Way, at a distance of 2.2 million light years. Altair is about 15 light years from Earth. The Altair civilization is quiet and contemplative, and is given to peaceful philosophical pursuits. They are not currently involved in special exploration, and are vigorously opposed to the involvement of the Lyranos in the evolution of the Earth. Number 11. The Pleiadians are blonde, or in some cases dark, Nordic-type humans, based on the Pleiadian Teogeta system and other systems, alleged to have been colonized by refugees from their former planetary homes, the constellation of Lyra that were invaded by reptiloid entities of Alpha Draconis. The main Pleiadian planet of Era is reported to be being terraformed by the Lyra refugees, Lyria who is much closer to the Earth, about 30 light years. The Pleiadians were apparently the first humanoid society to develop the journey to hyperspace, it is reported that the United States government knows how to peer into hyperspace, since the Philadelphia experiment in the 1940s. This may explain why humans in Lyra were able to travel the long distances from this part of the galaxy to colonize the Pleiades some 430 years ago, light of Earth Earth. The Pleiadians consider themselves as part of the Andromeda Council, based on some planetary systems within the Andromeda constellation, number 12. Procyoneans, one of the most positive alien groups are of the solar system orbiting around Procyon. Procyon is a yellow and white binary star, which rises in front of Sirius in Canis Minoris, approximately 11.4 light years from Earth. They have been nicknamed the Swedes. They are humanoid in nature, with fair hair. They have a very strong positive spiritual attitude towards the humanity of Earth. The United States government was not interested in negotiating with the Procyons, because they would not give them new weapon systems. The Procyons, it seems, have intertwined with us in various stages of our evolutionary development. This was done with a much more noble purpose than the Greys. The Procyoneans have a philosophy of service to others, rather than service to themselves. They have been involved in trying to protect us from the evil activities of the Greys and the Reptilians. They were able to travel in time, and between dimensions of reality. They often use mechanical vehicles for this, but they do not depend on them. The term Procyon is translated into English as the home of those who travel through time. The Procyoneans serve the law of one. They are here to help us help ourselves, fully respecting our free choice. Number 13. The Arcturians Acturus is one of the most advanced extraterrestrial civilizations of our galaxy. It is a fifth dimensional civilization, which, in reality, is like a prototype of the future of the Earth. Your energy works with humanity as an emotional mental and spiritual healer. It is also an energetic entrance through which humans pass during death and rebirth. It functions as a seasoning for non-physical consciousness, to become accustomed to physicality. The book The Keys of Enoch has described it as the midway station, or programming center used by the physical brotherhoods in our local universe, to govern the many turns of experiments with the physical at our end of the galaxy. His total focus on every aspect of his society to the path of the realization of God. The Arcturians teach that the most fundamental ingredient for living in the fifth dimension is love. They teach that negativity, fear, and guilt must be overcome and be changed by love and light. Acturus is the brightest star in the constellation Boötes, click on the image on the right, which is about 36 light years from Earth. The Arcturians work in close connection with the Ascended Masters, whom they refer to as the Fraternity of the Whole. 
They also work very closely with what they call the Galactic Command. The Arcturians travel the universe in their stellar ships, which are the most advanced in the entire universe. One of the reasons why the Earth has not been attacked by some extraterrestrial warriors has been that these civilizations fear these advanced starships of the Arcturians. These ships have a state of art technology plus ultra tip. One of these ships that surround the Earth is called the ship Athena, named in honor of one of the Greek gods. The Arcturian society is governed by what they call elders. These beings are venerated by the people of Arcturus for their advanced knowledge, wisdom, and extremely high vibratory frequencies. The higher the vibrational frequency, the closer is one of the light, or the spirit of God. The Arcturians are very short in physical stature, about 3 to 4 feet. They are also very thin. They are also all very similar in appearance. The Arcturians are proud of this, because this erases the smallness of comparisons of aspects, which are so prevalent in our society. The Arcturians are the most loving and non-critical beings you can imagine. His skin is greenish in color. They have large almond-shaped eyes. They have only three fingers. They have the ability to move objects with their minds, and they are totally telepathic. The source of food is a type of effervescent liquid that is highly vitalizes your whole being. His eyes are black or dark brown. His main source of seeing is actually through his telepathic nature, not his physical eyes. Its auditory sense transcends even its telepathic nature. They also have an ability to detect with the back of their heads. Its average lifespan is 350 to 400 of our Earth years. Their highly developed spiritual nature has allowed them to never grow old, as they have the ability to transcend time and space. They end life when the contract that has been arranged for their existence expires. In Arcturus there is no disease either, since it was eliminated centuries ago.